One of the most important decisions you make when playing Wordle is what word do you want to start with? Before we get into the in-depth analysis, you need to decide if you just want to win or you want to win in the fewest number of steps. We'll come back to this after we go through some of the other um, issues which impact that decision, your best starting word. Okay, there are two factors that everybody needs to consider, vowels and consonants. Bear with me for a bit. Let's start off by looking at the vowels because they're the easiest to get out of the way. Now, a five letter word can have one vowel, two vowels, three vowels, or four vowels. So we're not gonna address those few words that only have a Y in it because they screw everything up to be perfectly honest. So let's start off with the easiest ones. Um, the words that only have four vowels in them. There are a number of them, but the most popular ones are ado, audio, and Ouija, like, you know, a Ouija wood. And then there are a few more, as I said, obscure ones. If you're going to take this approach and use one of these letters with four vowels in it, I would recommend that you go with a do because it has both an E and an A in it. And those are the two most popular letters in the alphabet. Not only the two most popular vowels, but the two most popular letters in the alphabet. So you'll have a better chance there. And this is all about um, lowering your chances or increasing your chances of winning. Okay, so after that, we want to look at words that have one vowel in it. And I want to make it clear when we say one vowel, it might only be one vowel, but it can be in there once or twice. So you have words like glass and robot. Okay, so that's one and four vowels. Um, I, I would definitely not take the one vowel approach. But um, so let's move on. And let's um, now go up to um, see what two vowel and three vowel words. Okay, there are over 14,000 two vowel, wor vowel words and only about 835 three vowel words, each of which have you know five letters. So for that reason, I like to focus on two vowel words when I'm trying to pick out what my best starting word would be. So I'm gonna look for a word that has two vowels in it and probably will come as no surprise to you after hearing what I said on the prior slide that I'm going to look for a word that has an A and an E in it. And the simple reason for that is they are the most popular letters in the alphabet. By that, I mean they're in the most um, words. Now, if just as an aside, before we go through, uh, go into uh, you know, a more in-depth look at consonants, if you decide you wanna go with the three vowel approach, and I know um, a number of people who do that, you wanna make sure that that word includes an E and an A, and ideally an I. Although if you chose an O instead of the I, it's almost as good because they're right after each other in popularity. Um, so if I was going to do that, if I was going to go with a three word letter word, a three vowel word, I'd also want to pick out the two most popular consonants, which happen to be R and T. So I'd want a word that had an E, an A, an I in it, and an R and a T, and I would use the word irate. So if I was going to take the three vowel approach, I'd use irate, but I really, I like the two vowel approach. Okay, so now let's uh, turn our attention to consonants. But before we do that, I'd like to invite you to subscribe to this channel. It's free, it's completely private, and you can unsubscribe at any time. And if you're watching on uh, YouTube, um, ring the bell next to the subscribe button and you'll know, be notified when we post new content. Um, by the way, you don't have to be a YouTube subscriber. You can subscribe with a Gmail account. When do we post and why do we post? Tuesdays and Thursdays are for accounts payable stuff. And Saturdays at 9 a.m., I post about my newest obsession, Wordle. We've got some really interesting topics planned for the next few weeks that we hope will help you win a few more Wordle rounds. Now, the next, uh, the most popular consonants in order are R, T, N and S. Now, when I looked at this, I thought that the starting word should have the most popular letters in the alphabet, um, two vowels, and then we're going to eliminate I and O because they are, you know, vowels, okay? And so the next consonants I found were T, N, and S. So that means you want to find a word that has um, 
E and an A, R, T and N, okay? Now, when I first started doing this, after studying it a bit, I decided that there was no word that had the E, A, R and T. So um, I, I threw in the S, took out the N, put in the next popular letter S and I came out, out with tears and stares. And I always use tears because actually it was the first word that I thought of, not because I thought it was, it's better than stare. And actually I'm gonna come back to, to that. Stare might be better because I've read somewhere, don't know if it's true, but thinking back on all the words that have been winners, uh, Wordle does not seem to use plurals. So tears with the S and the N, um, that doesn't seem that it's going to be work. So I, I try and make myself use stares. But then somebody commented that earned was a word. Now, my first instinct was, no, it's not. But then I thought, you know what, why don't you do a little research? Because you don't know every single word in the English language. So I did. And what I found out is earned apparently is an old English word that means earned, and it is not considered acceptable language to, today in conversation. However, and this is a big however, Wordle accepts it. And how do I know? I tried it once. So technically, earned might be the best starting word for, the, for you to use if you were using, looking to only have two consonants. But I have to uh, be honest, I can't bring myself to, to use it. So um, you, I use stare most of the time. So what is your best starting word? Um, it depends upon what your goal is. If you just want to win and you don't care how many rounds it takes and you want to get rid of those vowels, you want to get them out of the way, go with the do. But if you're like me and you love the idea that occasionally you may win on the second round, and I, I'm going to brag, I did once, um, try stare, or if you must, earned. We've got a whole slew of, of new uh, Wordle videos, of Wordle videos that will help you win your hands. We've got a link to that below in the show notes. On YouTube, a link will appear momentarily to the left. And as always, we appreciate those thumbs up, those subscribes, those shares, and those comments. Happy wordling.